My name is Nick Korstad. Um, I'm the owner operator of the Big Bay Point Lighthouse Bend Breakfast here in Big Bay, Michigan. We're the only Bend Breakfast left in the state now. Uh, but here at Big Bay Lighthouse, uh, we've been in operation since 1896. Uh, we were built as a signal post uh, to help guide mariners between Granite Island and Huron Island. Uh, we were kind of a dead area at night, and uh, when mariners were transitioning to, uh, towards Houghton, the Keweenaw, uh, they would wreck into the shoals that are off our point. So ultimately, you know, the Lighthouse Board authorized you know, the improvement here, and uh, the Lighthouse had keepers till 1943 at which they decided that uh, with the canal that they had built through the Keweenaw, that uh, this lighthouse was no longer necessary. So they automated it, uh, removed all the keepers, and then rented it out for summer cottages until after World War II. And uh, this uh, property was then sold into private ownership in 62 to help um, stabilize the economy after the war efforts. So here I am today, and I live in this nice, beautiful lighthouse here on Lake Superior. Welcome to the exterior Big Bay Lighthouse. Uh, right next to us, we have our original oil house. Uh, great thing about these lighthouses uh, is they engineered outside storage for all the kerosene, well oil, lard oil, whatever they used back in the day. Uh, reason for being outside was uh, lighthouses were typically getting burned down by lighthouse keepers who were walking with a lantern in the oil, drop it down and boom, there goes the lighthouse. So this was devised, this is newer technology for lighthouses. So most lighthouses, if you ever go to them here in the Upper Peninsula, you will see the oil house. And if you look, we got the lighthouse behind us and follow me, we'll go inside and I'll give you guys the tour. So we're gonna enter in to the assistant keeper side of the house. This lighthouse originally was built as a duplex, but feel free, come on in. All right, so welcome into the living room. Originally, again, this lighthouse was a duplex. So this room would have been divided into two separate rooms. There would have been a wall right down the middle. This would have been a dining room, one side, parlor on the other side. And then the dining room itself would have been the kitchen. And in uh, 1962, when this lighthouse was sold into private ownership, uh, the owner decided he wanted to open up the duplex, make it one large little castle out here on the lake. And that's how we have our current configuration. So if you follow me, we'll go upstairs. I'll show you what our guest rooms look like. And then, of course, we'll get to the top of the lighthouse. That's where everyone wants to go. So we're a traditional bed and breakfast. So we have uh, seven guest rooms, all with their own bathrooms. Uh, each morning, I'll do a full breakfast that's uh, Basically baked goods, an egg scramble, a meat dish, and then I try and do something that's local. So I try and use local fruits for a nice fruit salad. Uh, and then afternoon we'll bake cookies or pastries for guests. And it's, you know, just kind of a nice alternative to staying in, uh, you know, a comfort inn or something like that. So you get the amenities of a hotel. You know, we have a sauna here. You have your own bathroom, but you get to stay at a lighthouse. Our most rented guest room up here, this is our Keeper Dufresne. Uh, this would have been two rooms originally. Uh, but again, in 62, it was opened up into this one grand, large master bedroom. And if you're a lover of sunsets, this room has a great view. You can see our old fog signal building out the window, uh, as well as our little oil house. And uh, we had a foghorn again until about 1943. And uh, it was steam powered and then air powered. And uh, that helped, you know, keep the ships from wrecking on the shoals that were about a mile offshore. It's a great old building. It'll be restored in the future. And uh, hopefully we'll have it open for maybe overnight stays or um, maybe a small little maritime museum. So we're kind of toying with the, the possibilities. But in the meantime, it's, it's a great old building. It's in great shape, but this room has a great view. But we'll head out the hallway. So on this side of the house, we have the three original rooms. This probably would have been one of the children's rooms. Again, this closet right here has been converted into a bathroom with a shower. And uh, you know, they're not super big, but they're not super small. And uh, thankfully, most of our rooms, aside for two, have full lake views. So. But we'll go around the corner and we have another bedroom, which is our assistant temple room. And all these rooms, they're named after uh, original lighthouse keepers or assistants. And uh, this room also has a lake view. And it's one of our only rooms that has uh, an additional bed. But we'll head downstairs. I'll show you a couple keeper rooms that we have down there. And we'll go down this side of the duplex. This room right here, our Keeper Bergen Suite. Uh, would have been, it's at the base of the light tower, but this would have been the head lighthouse keeper's office. And uh, we had two front entryways. This one has been converted into a, a private bath that has a jutted tub. And this again would have been the head lighthouse keeper's little office. Uh, we saw a couple structure plans that showed that there may have been a stairway here up to the top. And uh, that would have allowed for the lighthouse keeper to take oil and stuff through the house without taking it onto the interior stairs because all the walls in this tower are like two and a half feet thick. So, um, you know, if they had any fires in here, they could seal the doors and put it out. 
Um, but again, when the lighthouse was automated in the 1940s, it was rented out as summer cottage. So the Coast Guard may have, at that time, removed the stairway up to the second level, locked the ones upstairs so people couldn't get up there and access their lens, and uh, they could still have them rented for income. So, but this is the, the most quiet room in the whole place. The walls are so thick you couldn't hear if someone was you know, yelling and screaming at you in the hallway. But it gives you a full Lake Superior sunrise and sunset and you open these windows up and it sounds like you're sitting on the ocean. Our Keeper McDonald suite, which occupies um, the whole um, east side of the lower level, is a great room. This is one of my favorite rooms because uh, I'm, I'm trying to get uh, couches into every room, but it has a fireplace, but it has four windows. So you can kind of really keep an idea of, you know, what's going on on the lake. You can watch the birds out front. And you can watch the people walk down the driveway for lighthouse tours. This is this one and my Keeper Dufresne are the ones that people love during the winter with these large fireplaces. You can sit in here and after about five minutes, you have to shut it off, it gets a little too warm, but it's fun, it's exciting, and um, I don't know, every room offers a different touch.